So I found this great new booktuber, Joseph Reed's Books. There'll be a link in the description of this video. And I was particularly taken by one of his videos. It was titled, Why You Should Be Reading Older Science Fiction and Fantasy. In this video, he talks about Robert Hutchins and Mortimer J. Adler. They edited a series of books for Britannica called The Great Books of the Western World. They wrote an introductory book to this collection, and it was called The Great Conversation. Hutchins and Adler believed that the great books could be viewed as a conversation, a dialogue over the years. Joseph called this a handshake with the past and a handshake with the future. Adler says, What binds the authors together in an intellectual community is the great conversation in which they are engaged. In the works that come later in the sequence of years, we find authors listening to what their predecessors have had to say about this idea or that, this topic or that. They not only hearken to the thought of their predecessors, they also respond to it by commenting on it in a variety of ways. So our topic for discussion today is the great conversation in science fiction and fantasy. Do you see examples of how authors are building on authors previous to them? Is it handing ideas off to the future? Can you give us an example of where you see this great conversation? Who are some authors or what are some books that lead you to see this conversation in science fiction and fantasy? Is this great conversation being lost? Or perhaps a return to interest in vintage SF is a renewing of this conversation. In some ways, those of us who have been reading vintage SF and talking about it here on YouTube have been building this conversation. Now it's your turn. Please take part in the conversation below. You can read what others say, you can comment, you can come up with new examples of the great conversation. Until next time, keep the conversation going.